Welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video we will talk about uh, Checkpoint's first time wizard. I first demonstrate the traditional way of setting it up and then show how to do it <coughs> using the CLI. I also discuss why using the CLI can be advantages, uh, especially when you are uh, deploying many servers. So let's get started. So to do this, we need a new installed server. This one uh, is new install. So first we need to know what IP address it is using. So show uh, zero. And here we can see it is 10.0.0.15. And now we go to the, uh, the browser. So here I, I'm showing the traditional way to run the first time wizard. We need this. Yes. This Okay, so every new server, when you install a new server, you will get this uh, first time wizard. Uh, uh, here, first we will go through this uh, GUI wizard, and then I will show you how to do the same thing in CLI. So next, next, uh, the interface configuration, next, next, because this is a lab, so we don't need to think uh, much in what is happening here but for example here we need to, in production you need to have ntp server so next next and here we choose if this server will be a gateway or a management server so for this demonstration we will choose to be this to be a gateway and it will be a member in a cluster so next here we need to create the pass the sick password this password will be used when you add this gateway to the smart console next and finish so now it will take some time it will uh, finish the configurations and restart so we can uh, pause the video here and wait until it's done. Uh, when we back, uh, I will show you how to remove this first time wizard and uh, do it again in the CLI. So now after restart, we can log in to the uh, guy portal. But uh, if you find that the first time wizard was, uh, was run with incorrect parameters and needs to be executed again, so we can switch to the expert mode in CLI and delete the two flags files where the first time was the configurations are saved. So here, here we are. We can start this again. So we log in here. And then expert mode. So we have two flags, this one This wizard accepted, so we can delete this first. So confirm that, and then delete the next one. Wizard started. Yes. So now, as you can see, now we can uh, we get the first time wizard again. But now we will run it through the CLI. So back to the CLI here. So now to create the configuration file, we use this command config system. Uh, 
dash t and here we can call it as we like so for example uh, a gw test so now if we uh, use ls here uh, we can see that we have a file called a gw test so for example cat a gw test so this is a, a configuration file that we need to edit uh, to run the first time wizard. But so we can use v. So we can use v to edit this file. But uh, I think it's easier to. So we can. Out. The best way is to SCP. Uh, to log into the server and uh, copy that file, edit it in uh, Notepad, and then uh, paste it in uh, back to the server. So first, to to be able to use Win SCP, we need to the uh, to change the 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 bash settings. So chsh admin. So now we have logged in uh, to the etc CLI sh. We need to, do, to change that to bash or bin bash, bin bash, like this. And now we can uh, close this and run it again. Yes. Win SCP. Okay, here our host is 0015 and password. Yes. Okay. So we can directly save the file called a GW test. We can move it there or not there. We can move it to the desktop maybe. Oh, this is the desktop, so move it like this and now we can go there and you can see it is here so open with notepad okay so now we can start editing this file to uh, run the first time wizard so here it says install security gateway so we can take this as true and this means that this server will be a gateway not a management server uh, then here it asks if the gateway will use a dynamic IP address if that is correct so take true here gateway cluster member true install security management uh, so we choose this if this server was a management server so in this case we need to have it uh, false because we don't need this to be a management server uh, the next step will be um, so management primary secondary install mds we don't have mds here Download info, true, okay. Uh, down from checkpoint, non security, true. Upload info, true, okay, that is not uh, important. False. Upload crash, false. So all these configurations are not important for us as a, a gateway. What is important here is the here the sick key. This is very important when you add this uh, gateway to a smart console. And then okay, this admin hash. This hash we need to use the uh, expert mode to generate this hash. So we go the expert mode again and we can use this command here 
generate the hash. So database get password admin password. Okay, press enter. And this we take this hash, copy it, and paste it there. Like this. Then we continue and I phase. So the I phase should be ATH zero here. This is the interface name. <coughs> IP stat manually. Okay. The IP address is 10 0, 0, 15. The mask is 24. And default gateway is 10 0, 0, 1. So we don't need IBV6. Uh, Host name is a gw test domain name my domain local uh, uh, host name domain time zone time zone we can take is it here? Uh, Europe and Stockholm, as in Sweden. Then we continue here. Primary DNS, for example, this Google DNS. Uh, so if reboot, if required, is true. So now we can save this file, save, and back to when WinSCP, we can delete this one, like this, okay, and copy the one we changed there. Now back to the CLI here, ls, now we need to execute this command, so config dash f and can take a test and dry run. So this command will validate if our text file is uh, is correct configured. So we press enter here. Log in again. Expert. Okay. Config system F A try run. So we see here that configuration file string is valid. So now we can uh, run the this file. So we delete this. Now it will be run. So this will take some time. I will pause and return when it's done. So now, as we can see here, uh, it was it has installed the first time commission was completed, and now it's re rebooting. So uh, I will wait it until it's reboot and log into the uh, Gaia portal again. So now the server is done loading, uh, restarting. So we can test again there. Try to reload the page. And then So here we can see that the first time wizard was completed successfully. So as we have seen, uh, it takes some time to edit that file. <coughs> but if you uh, edit uh, only the first time and you save that file, 
So every time you need to deploy a, a new server, you need only to change the IP address and the name. And maybe the... Uh, so some small changes. So using CLI to run the first time wizard is a game changer for server deployment. It speeds up the process, reduces errors, and makes it easy to scale your operations. Uh, if you're looking for to streamline your uh, server deployment processes, uh, learning how to use CLI for initial setup is the must. So, so it's only uh, edit the file, change name, server name, uh, IP address, maybe DNS and the main server name, and then it is ready to run again and again in the game. So that was for this video. So thank you for watching and see you next time.